filming. Eric, it's filming. What's up? Welcome to today's show of Two Peas in a Pod. My name is Eric Larson, and I'm here with the one and the only Axel Aftrola. Basically, we're here to uh, become friends, uh, discuss a little. Today's question of the day, oh, I keep saying that. Today's question, the question of the day, is what five items would you bring with you to a deserted island? Um, you know, a little bit of a backstory here. It's not that literal. Basically, it's more of the interpretation of what five items are most crucial to our well-being. Kind of what five items could we not live without? Uh, of course, there's water and shelter, we need all that, but I mean, uh, the items that really are important in our lives. So, to learn a little bit more about uh, my companion here, Axel will start us off at number five. What's well, the fifth my, item on your list? Well, the fifth priority, so least mm -hmm. priority out of my items, yeah. would be a trampoline. A trampoline, okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah, so I do parkour, free uh -huh. running, trekking. I mean, the practice of the same thing. Mm -hmm. But most people don't know that. No. Because they are very different mm -hmm. to specific people. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, practically the same. Practically. Just slight differences. Mm -hmm. But overall, I like to progress a lot, and, you know, trampoline would allow me to do that. And, like, it's, it's fun. It's, yeah, it's, it's also somewhat of a form of exercise. Kind of. But you understand not as well. really. <laughs> uh, no. But uh, it works. It's nice. It's yeah. fun. Um, would you consider that, like, super dangerous? Like, what if you hurt yourself there on the trampoline? Well, I'll see that. I mean, I'm guessing there's a beach as well, so I guess it's kind of yeah. soft, mm -hmm. I guess, if you fall out of it, which will yeah. be fine. Most, plus, nice. most. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. So, you know, I could Ooh. maybe progress, do that a little better. That's kind of kind of bad, kind of sloppy. Whoa, that was, that was good. That was good. Oh, wow, I'm impressed. So, what Not would your fifth item be, though? Uh, my fifth item would be a journal. Uh, somewhat of like a notebook type thing, um, basically to uh, write. Assuming that I also have writing utensils there. Uh, basically, on an island, I think that I would have a lot of time, hopefully, like, construct a hammock of sorts, and then just, you know, chill there, and I think there'll be a lot of time for thinking, a lot of good ideas could come so to my mind. So you'd like, write about write all your small adventures on the island? Yeah, yeah, hopefully that would be. I mean, I, I wouldn't have a trampoline. Maybe I could... But I think I would still have adventures to write about, and just also all my ideas. Um, I, I really do like writing. Maybe we could uh, think up of some novel or something well, while I'm on the island there. I don't know, that could be a character for uh, for me and my writing, but uh, yeah, that was my uh, fifth item there. You could also draw. I'm not the most artistic person, but uh, yeah. but uh, since you mentioned drawing, my fourth item on the oh, list wow. is a sketchbook. Moving right down. Oh, a sketchbook. Yeah. So, well, this is assuming I have like charcoal or something to draw yes, with. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, you like art or? Uh... I, I like art. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not very good at it, but uh -huh. I like it. So That's fine. Yeah. Maybe you could progress, and it's all about practice. It practice is, makes yeah. perfect. And you'll have a lot of free time there on the True, island. True. So if I spend at least like. 10,000 hours on it, I'll be pretty proficient in it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's like 28 years, but uh, that's, I mean... Yeah. Well, I mean, you get is, pretty yeah. good after 20 yeah, years. Yeah, you would, would get pretty good. Uh, speaking of free time and getting pretty good, I would bring a musical instrument. Specifically, my guitar. Um, you know, uh, music... What do you, what do you play on the guitar? Like, what, what can you do? Uh, uh, lots of different things. I, I do like acoustic uh, music. Some of the artists that have influenced me have kind of been like Coldplay and... Uh, some like Ed Sheeran and, and stuff. So you're like kind of like that, like, like uh, easy, sad, depressing vibe. Uh, no, well, there's also happier songs, but uh, of course, no. But I just think that uh, all there on the, uh, for, I mean, music is a, has been a big part of my life, uh, my whole life. It's very personal to you. It is pretty personal to me, and I think uh, music is one of the great things that it, it becomes personal to everyone. And mm -hmm. uh, and so then, I, when I was younger, I played piano and I moved on to classical cello for a few years. But um, in the recent years, it's been uh, it's been my guitar. And I feel like that I would bring some tabs because I would just like learn more and more guitar, yeah. which is interesting. Something I could just improve on, and then it could just be a good way to keep myself busy and uh, entertained there on the island. Yeah, that's true. That's music true. is important to me. Um, so down to the top three, the third item. I would Throw bring a magician. A magician. That yes. is interesting. 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 Explain. Well, well the reason for it is. Sorry, there. Had to take a quick water break. Where were we, Axel? Oh, well, yes. we were talking about my pick uh, for the third item. The magician. The magician Correct. Right? Continue, please do. Yeah, so what I was considering for the magician is, yeah, sure, you can bring your own, like, book of magic or mm. whatever yes, you yes. call it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, learn yourself. But I feel like having a personal tutor, like a master magician, would be way more beneficial in terms of progressing towards yeah. 
you know, the art of sleight of hand, you know, some of that illusionist and distraction. Oh, good. It's good. Yeah, I mean, it would be really convenient if you just, you know, went off on a plane one day, packed your magician with you like you do every day, just yeah, the necessities, exactly. and then boom, it crashes, and there you are on the deserted island with a magician. And you got loads just of time again, as well. Just again, it's a, it is a, kind of just a literal, but uh, so that is a priority to you. That's interesting. That's quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, so now we're on to my third item. Yeah. My third item. Well, as an uh, ex-professional athlete here, I would say that my third item would be sports equipment. Uh, so that's a little broad. I could not choose because yet again, like I have quite the, uh, quite the vast, uh, you know, history of sports in my life because that has been another huge deal for me ever since uh, I was little. I've just I've been I played baseball for a long time. American football, soccer, uh, I wrestled, I was on the swim team, golf, tennis, basketball, hockey, um, pretty much every sport I've tried, and I think it's just a great way to get moving, be a part of the team, just all these great things. And so, let's say in my bag here, I would have, I'd have a football to throw around with myself, with <laughs> with myself. <laughs> no, well, a baseball I mean... glove, and a, uh, a baseball glove, two baseball gloves, and a baseball. Why and, two uh, baseball gloves? You are there. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, and then basically maybe some goggles because hopefully there'll be some swimming I can do there. Some on the swim team and just a bunch of different things to stay active. Uh, I think that would be important to do on the island just to not get restless. So, uh, restless, yeah. yeah. And uh, and so I think that uh, sports equipment would be pretty important to me. Uh, you know, stay in shape too. Yeah. I mean, if, it, if it's there on a tropical island, I mean, it's, it's beach True. body season like year round. So, I mean, I got to like... That out. Yeah, I do. All right, woohoo! Last two here. Oxa parkour here. Yeah, so for my uh, well, uh, second class item. Yeah, second class Penultimate. item. Penultimate. I would actually take piano. Now I don't know. Ooh, a piano. How uh -huh. to play the piano? You do not. Okay. I've, I've dabbled and had fun by you myself. Yeah. Dabbled in it lightly. Mm -hmm. But then again, I don't know how to play it. I don't know the chords. Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm what you would call a beginner. A beginner. <laughs> okay, but uh, an aspiring avid pianist. Yeah. Well, I, it's. I mean, music is as well a big part of my life. I don't play any instruments, never mm -hmm. have, mm -hmm. but I really <clears throat> like music, and mm -hmm. it it does a lot for me. I listen to music pretty much 12 hours a day, at least. At least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as, as you would know. Mm -hmm. Well, no, because we're just getting to know each other here. Yes, but I mean, we, we hung out a bit earlier Yeah, we did, before, we did. So uh, you couldn't notice. Yeah. I never, never took down the headphones. No, no, no. Yes, yeah, no, I, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so a piano would be nice, because then mm -hmm. I could have some tunes in my life. That's admirable, While being yeah. At the uh, island, you know, yeah. with the free time, learn how to play yeah, piano, possibly. Exactly. And, uh, so possibly have some tabs neatly stacked into it, if you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So it's in one item. You, you quite interesting. Know. Quite interesting. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Nice. My second item, my penultimate item here, would be a person. A what? A person. A purse. A person. A person. A purse. A person. A person. A person. A person. Person. Who um, is this person? Well, there, there's lots of, uh, you know, really important people in my life, and uh, I, I could not uh, be where I am today without my family and the support of my, so my loved a, ones. So you bring a deformed... But, but, wait, wait. I have all my friends So you would stuff. bring a deformed mutation abomination That's not what I'm family. saying. Just listen, just listen. That's one. Just listen. I mean, it's interesting. You might be flattered, you, you might off. be flattered, but since the start of this conversation, I, I think that you and I really get along well, and uh, I need someone to throw that football with, uh, and throw the baseball with, and... Uh, play my, my guitar for, tell about all the stuff I'm writing down. So, uh, you want to come to my deserted island with me? Sure, I'd love to hear. That I'd love to crash awesome. on a plane with you and survive. Yeah, that'd pretty, be awesome. Pretty neat experience. You can write about it in your journal, I could draw about it in my sketchbook. No, no, but yeah, but I really think that, uh, that companionship is, is super important in life. Because, I mean, it's kind of like, it's not useless, of course, because you can entertain yourself, but uh, you really want someone to share your ideas with and share your thoughts That's with awesome. and, just, and just experience things with. And, and so I feel like, uh, you know, I could have my friend here. Uh, let's just say though that Axel did, you know, get boring perhaps, or, or maybe he got rescued or something, and there was another plane crash, and then perhaps uh, coincidentally Victoria was on a plane, she crashed, and she's on this deserted island with me too, because I think she's another interesting person. But uh, yeah, but you're definitely right to my island. I Thank think that would be, yeah, be, be, be a nice honor. time. Mm -hmm. Nice time. Bring my items with me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, the last item. What we've all been waiting for. I know I have. Axel. I think he I, has. I have as oh, well. he has. All I right, have, then have. let us know. Well, the it tension's would been building. Be my girlfriend. You would be your girlfriend. Ah, uh -huh, similar companionship yeah. there. Well, companionship. no, you already have the magician. That is true. That's true, but I mean, you didn't. You didn't specify the, you know, gender of your. Well, magician. I mean, uh, <laughs> to be PC here. 
Non specified. She's, non specified. Uh, she's <laughs> not she, 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 she <laughs> would be mm-hmm. pen would be uh, whichever you know. Mm-hmm. It would be. Yeah. What is what is it meant to be? You know. Yeah. What is it? So but yeah, I'd bring my girlfriend. You know, you you need you need the kind of sense of companionship where someone understands mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Where you know you know you've known them for a while. Yeah. So and you know it'd be it'd be nice. Oh, wait wait wait. How could you be on your island, and my island on the same at the same time? It's true. Maybe we can mesh them together. Yeah. Well, actually, no neighbor mind. islands. Maybe I should get. Maybe I should just bring like a motorboat. You can bring. <laughs> you can bring another island. Another you can bring island. my island. You can bring your island. Whoa. Well, that'd be kind of yeah, sick. That'd be kind of. Well, but no, I that'd would, be hard I would, to pack. But pretty hard to pack. Pretty hard to pack. A lot, of, a lot of sand would get everywhere. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of annoying. Just a mess, but, but yeah, I'd bring my girlfriend. You know, mm-hmm. I've known her for quite a long time. Mm-hmm. Not too long, but mm-hmm. about a year or so. Mm-hmm. So it would be nice to have her. Mm-hmm. You know, plus it'd be fun. You know, you could uh, always like do trampoline with her, do some sketching, mm-hmm. whatever you know fits your needs. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. My last item here, uh, because this is a uh, podcast, radio podcast, and not at all an English assignment. Um, not at true, all. True. No, not never, at all. Never would have considered but, that. But, no, so this is just a coincidence that I would bring, like, a, a nook or, like, a Kindle or something, like, an, a digital reading device. Because, basically, uh, in today's digital age, you have the ability to read a lot of works of literature, you know, and it's, like, light. And so, you know, because, personally, I could not choose one single book or even a few single books that have uh, that I could bring with me because literally reading I know that I've said like uh, that sports are important to me music's been important to me all this stuff but reading has probably been the most important thing you know when I was younger I didn't have that many friends so I just I like to read I like I like to read Norse mythology Greek mythology anything I could get my hands on just because it was really interesting and it you know uh, I uh, language is a bit important to me I'm trilingual uh, thanks to my parents uh, and so I think there's just like the ability to communicate and through that you know, being writing or, or, or reading, that's been a super important to humans and, uh, and why we're so successful today. And so I think reading has just been, I mean, I would bring every book I could on that little Kindle there. And so that could be, include some of my favorite authors, some, uh, some geniuses like James Joyce and Shakespeare and, and just other people just to... So, um, yeah. talk about charging now, uh, coconuts? Coconuts. Coconuts. I, coconuts. Feel, I feel like that would help a lot. Yeah. I mean, you could probably plug it in somewhere. Yeah, true, true. Or if it's just like an infinite battery. Solar, solar power. Solar, solar. Wow, Actually, James. wow, solve the problem. So solar yeah, power, I mean, that's... solar power Kindle. Mm, wow. Late night reads. Yeah, I got recharged reads. in the morning, but. So yeah, I just I think that I have a lot of free time, and just reading would be a really useful thing, just to you know keep my mind in balance, because I think that's really interesting how you can kind of yeah. escape reality a bit in, into the works of into the words of uh, of another person's mind. So that's reading. So that has been our list for today. Thank you. Thank you. Super much. Super much. Thank you a for, lot. For joining Thank us you today. A lot for joining us. I uh, hope you learned something new. I yeah. definitely have gotten to learn so, a little about my uh, acquaintance here. And, so uh, uh, how about next time? Who, who's coming? I don't yeah. I, I think I think it was. Who did they say? It was that uh, that that Aurora person. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think it was I that too. Yeah, I think I know that Victoria person. Yes, yeah, so you have something else to look forward to yeah, next week. Next week. Great, join us again. Show. Oh, well, not us, but oh, uh, not yeah. Us, but we'll, you know, uh, we'll, you'll see someone else, Bond. You yeah. Know, it'll be nice. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, lots of thanks. And bye.